they take him and they wrap him in a cloth. They wrap him in a cloth. And a reminder is made in one ear, and another reminder is made in the other ear. That's the end of his life. His life ended before even it started. That you have just come today, but we are reminding you that you are going to leave this world very soon. Then he lost his message along the way, and he thought he wasn't leaving this world until that time come again, subhanAllah, when he will be wrapped in that cross again. It's two wrappings, my dear brothers. You can't escape from any of these wrappings. It's not the wrapping of your chocolate sneakers, mass bar, and all this. First wrapping was when you came into this world. You did not have any job. You weren't employed by Saint Maurice. You were not Dr. Saab. You were not Engineer Saab. You were not Chaudhary Saab. You had no Saab next to you. You were Mr. No one. <laughs> you had no name also. Then after some time, then you say, I'm Chaudhary Saab. I am engineer sir. Then after some time, I'm just telling you brothers, this is the story of our life. Then after some time, it becomes real that actually yes, you are nothing. Then the other rap came again. And then you will be put in a very tight place. Those people who deceive you, and they told you they love you, and it wasn't real, they left you in that place also. <coughs> so, in that night, you sleep alone, you'll have no one with you. كل من آتيه يوم القيامة صدر إلا أتي رحمن عبد In another place, same place, same line in the Quran. That you will come your Malkiyam alone. You will have no title. All the titles were left by the great side. Then you again you become Mr. No one again. And you stand in front of Allah. And Allah will ask you about this short life. So Aisha radiallahu she says, she asked the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he said to him, that would we be very embarrassed, you know, when we stand in front of one another and we will not even have clothing. We will look at one another and we will think, oh, look at Fulan, he has no clothing. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to our mother Aisha, that Aisha, you don't understand. You will be so busy that day <coughs> that you will not have time to realize who's standing next to you. Allah. The people, they will say, Ya Allah, send us to Jahannam. Take us to, just put us in the fire. We, we're okay. We're okay with that. It's better than standing here. This is very, it's very hard. They don't also understand the reality of hellfire. They're seven types. Anyway, we'll speak about that next time. My dear brothers, Allah is great. There is no words to mention the greatness of Allah, my dear brothers. Allah is free from needs. Allah is independent. Allah is separate from, from any one of his creation, my dear brothers. That's why the ulama, they tell us in hadith that a person said only one subhanallah. He said subhanallah. He said subhanallah. I tell you the benefit. You say one subhanallah, one subhanallah. Then Allah made a tree special for you. But He doesn't put this tree in the between of Jannah and Jahannam. Allah take this tree and plant it for you in Jannah. Because Allah wants you to go to Jannah, 
So he put the tree in Jannah for you. Because Allah has no need to put you in hellfire. If Allah put everyone in hellfire, how is that going to benefit Allah? That's why Allah is independent. He said, Wallahu akhrajakum min butulikum mahatikum la ta'lamuna shay. There was a time when we did not have a clue what was going on. And Allah gave us everything. Some our absar. Ask somebody who lost his eyesight. You ask him, brother, what you will give to get your eyesight back? He'll, he'll tell you, I'll give my life. Maybe he will not have eyesight now, he'll give his life now. I'm just giving you an example. But Allah has given us how many body parts. Do you know how many body parts we have? Do you know how many cells we have? <coughs> All that was given by Allah free of charge. Allah says, I'm independent. I don't need anyone. I'm alone. I give people, people give me nothing back. And everybody is claiming independence. Brother, you need to be independent. No country is independent. It's all deception, my dear brothers. Allah says, Man Amada. Who has put the sky now is raining. Every rain drop, every rain drop has been sent down onto this earth by one angel who will not come again until you will care. In this way, Allah will flood the whole place with water in drops that was brought by one angel that will not come back again until you are there. That's the system of Allah. So Allah needs our four months. That's why the ulama they say in the last ayah of the Quran. This debate in this last ayah of the Quran is now, now you see all this, I've given you everything. But what the poor you will do your own thing in the world, summa to a far, could not see my customer law, lies your own. Now be careful now because you will come back to me soon. I will recompense you, I will reward you, but I will not wrong you in the list. That is why a man enters Jannah, he knows I don't deserve this Jannah. A man is sent into the fire of hell. He knows I deserve this. In Miskat, in Miskat, this mentioned one story. I'll tell you one story. When you make tawba, there's a hadith when you make tawba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah loves you so much again. You know, when a baby makes a mess and the mother of the baby cleans the baby again, he loves the baby again. He just, he doesn't just throw the baby. Because the baby made the mess, isn't it? Inna Allah la yikibu tawabina wa yikibu mutawabina misaakukum arfun lakum ila So Allah loves us to make tawba to him, so he forgives us. Allah loves this. He said, I love you when you make sin. I'm not telling you because you all will go make sin. But Allah says, when you make sin and you ask me to forgive you, I love you more. Allah. My dear brothers, we have made a mistake. We did not take this walk of power as the purpose of life. So every Thursday we gather here is to make power to Allah. Yeah, Allah, we make mistake. But Allah, yeah, Allah forgive us. Allah will love us again and He will give us another force. In Miskat, this effort of power, I did. Allah has given us a responsibility, my dear brothers. This La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. It has to enter every house before the end of this world and me and you, we are going to put it into every house and every workplace. Why did Allah make me Dr. Sab? Why? For me to feed myself? No. For me to change the mindset of all doctors until you want to hear Then Allah gave me qualification. That's why. Right. Why did Allah make me engineer Sab? Because he wants me to change the mindset of all the engineers in the world until you will be out. Our purpose of life is to disseminate to the four corners of the world. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. 
That's why one sunnah. It is virtually added that one sunnah is better than the whole world and whatever it contains. All the higher, everything. The beautiful women, the beautiful cars, the beautiful houses, the money, the wealth, the gold, and the silver, everything. One sunnah is better than everything in the world. That's the life of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear brothers, the effort of Hidayat, Allah has given me and you. We make effort, we don't give Hidayat. And those people who are giving Hidayat, Allah took their Hidayat in our account, Yom al Qiyamah. Yom al Qiyamah will stand in front of Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Fulan has been given Hidayat, Fulan has been given Hidayat. Fulan has been given Hidayat. This country was given Hidayat because of the effort of your doubt that we did in Berlin. 